Dead Army, Operation Kilt. Are you? Oh, there you are, sir. You left the bank a bit early, didn't you? I had a lot of paperwork. Oh, I see. I've finished it now. Just why are you left by the back door? Is there any reason why I shouldn't? No, sir. You're going out the back door? I haven't seen Mr. Green from the head office. Going through the front door. What did he want? He's taken a rather dim view about your, oh, military, those military posters in the bank. Does he know where there's a war on? He seems to think they clashed with our posters. Really? Yes, underneath one of our... I was saying, let us invest in your money. You put the one that says, trust no one. Terrors talk, costs lives. So an unfortunate coincidence. You put, don't be a squash, squatterbug like me, and need a portrait of the founder of the bank. Don't be bothered with all this rubbish. Some fool said a burger trip out there, up there, sir. I did, couple. Good idea, sir. Good idea. Can I help you? Oh, thank you. What is it is you want, couple? I want to be the first to bring you the good news. Meat rations have gone up, sir. From ten, one and ten to two and tuppence. Thank you, Corporal Jones. That's a comfort. Butler's gone down to two ounces. You still have eight ounces of fat ration, six ounces of marge, and two of butter. Or four ounces of marge, two of cooking fat, two of butter, or four ounces of cooking fat, and four of marge. Or three ounces of cooking fat and two of butter. You have four ounces of cooking fat, four ounces of marge, and eight ounces of marge, if you like. Thank you, Jones. Very nice of you. This came to you. This came to you at the bank. At the bank after you left. All six of cooking fat. All right. Thank you, Jones. Listen to this, Wilson. All home guard units will do 15 minutes of PT before betrayed. They can't get rid of that as they'll get rid of the excess fat. You don't have any excess fat, all right. Now we can start tonight. Who's going to take us? I am. Instructions are here. Pray the men in the yard. Nothing like fresh air for PT. Couple, yes, sir. Tell them to strip off. Beg your pardon, sir? Strip off, certainly, sir. Not in here. Get out. Heaven's sakes, Jones. Tell the men. Right, sir. Captain Ogilvy. Highlands Regiment is due here at 13, 19, now as a brief, that's about suddenly, I'm new sir, 1930, I see, what's, is that, well, what's this about, uh, 7.30, sir, yes, yes, I know, it's already 6.30, plenty of time, sir, you don't know what, was, don't know anything about PT, we took arms, a lot of things we don't know about any, anything about, you better let, let you, never let you down yet. Have I? All right. Oh, oh well, all right. That's be all. Be, uh, that's be all. Parade outside, right? This is our order. Can the man who wants you to strip off? Strip off for what? Going to take some PT. You can't strip off. You don't need clothes that's keeping him from falling apart. We're not stripping off. People will see us down for the road. Listen, Joe. I don't want any subordination. Aye, aye, watch it. Platoon sent. Well, I had your men ready, Corporal. Well, sir, I'm ready, sir. Then the men at ease, Sergeant. Platoon, stand at ease. Pay attention, men. We're going to beat the Hun. We're going to, we've got to be fit. Clean bodies and clean minds. I never ask you to do anything. We'll do myself. Can't strip off, we we'll strip off together. Mission beat, sir. Yes, Corporal. Bit chilly. Can we just step, strip off out inside? Certainly not. If you're cold, stop running on the spot. Right, strip. I see your navel, Taff. Ah, uh, no laughing matter, Joe. It cost me a lot of money, that did. Ah, now that this one, a football result, Scotland forward, got them forever, you ignorant Sassanek. Excuse me, sir. Yes, Godfrey. Do you require me to remove my binder, sir? Oh, Godfrey, remove the what? My final binder. Binder. Do you wish me to take it off? Yes, yes, take it off. Would you be kind enough to hold this pin? Oh, I'll keep it on. We'll be all day. Look at those hairy chests. Who said that? There's an naughty boys in the churchyard. Turn them clear off. Yes, clear off. Clear off you want once, you bull boys. Why are you taking your clothes off as well? Why aren't you? Go away. You won't be laughing if the Nazis would go here. No, the Nazis would. If you don't go and clear the churchyard. All right, baldy, keep your shot on. Speak to Mrs. Beckenford. Uh, keep the ginger one in and after school, yes. Now, men, Mr. Henry, I'm sorry to interrupt you. What have you got? 
Why haven't you got your clothes off, Miss? Oh, Mavis, we're busy. We're going to do P.E.T. Oh, evening, Mr. Jones. Evening, Mr. Pike. Miss Pike. Don't let Frank stand around too long. Don't let him start again with his chest. He'll soon will not. Why has he still got his tunic on, Martha? Yes, why? I don't think it would be good for discipline. What? A bit embarrassing, sir. But I've got a rasty little hole in my vest. Don't you didn't put the vest on again. I told you to leave it to me to mend. Maybe it's not so loud. Take the tunic and vest off together. Then no one will notice. There's not nothing to be ashamed of with your body, Arthur. You're going to love his physique when he strips off. Maybe it's please, Arthur, take that vest off. We're well, a bit chilly out here. Please stop showing me up. Put your hand over it. All right. What do you want, Miss Pike? I nearly forgot. Oh, I think this is part of Frank's gun. It's important? Yes, Miss Pike, it is very important. Now, what's this Pike? It's a rifle boat, sir. I knew what it is, you stupid boy. It belongs to your rifle. I left it out while I was cleaning the gun, sir. I wished it out with the tea things. No harm done. Don't let him stand around. Let his jacket too long for Mr. Manry. I'll speak to you later, Pike. Now, don't lose it. Perhaps you, we can start now. You can stop now, Corporal. Freezing, freezing, really warmer? Yes, sir. Drizzly, but warmer. See, he doesn't kill over Walker. Right, sir. Have you got the manual there? Here we, here we are, deep breathing. Legs apart, hands and hips, chest out. Breathing through the nose and through the mouth. Got that? Yes, sir. Right, deep breathing. Godfrey? Yes, sir. Both your hands and the hips. Oh, sorry, sir. Out and out. Oh, what's that funny smell? It's fresh air. Oh, shut uh, uh, up. So, concern? Ah, corporal, corporal. We finished that. Sorry, sir. Don't be in stride with the feet and the arms at the same time. Look at this. Shall I hold in the manual for you, sir? Good idea, sergeant. Right. Jumping stride commence. One, keep it still. One doesn't keep jogging the book up and down. I can't read it. I wrote a book. I'm not jogging up and down. It's you, platoon. Halt, halt. I bet you'd feel better for that. Oh, yes, much better, sir. What's next? Uh, sir, press up the next. Oh, all right. On the floor, on the ground. Down. Face down. On command of one, raise yourself with your arms and hold it. On command of two, lower yourselves to the ground. One. Can I help, can, can I help you, sir? Two. One, two, one. All right, all right, all right. Bit on your feet. I think you can circle and control the tr- trunk movements on next, sir. Let the men get their breath back. Some of them are not used to this sort of thing. Jones, Jones, what are you coming, what are you doing down there? Get up. Sorry, sir, I must have dozed off. All right, sir, for free retrotary trunk. Movements are next. If I decide what's next. They're flipping up and down, you see. All right, Corporal. You better, but you finish off with a simple exercise. Touching toes ten for four times. Arms above the head. Right. Okay, you're all right, sir. My leg goes stuck. Jones, could a chair quickly. Call the girl, the show call the doctor. No, quickly. Better get a new PT to instruct her. Sit down quietly. I'll get some brown paper and a hot wine, sir. And I'll be all right. As long as I stay in this position, just walk up and down once or twice. Where is she's Captain Manry? I'm Captain Manry. Captain Manry, the Highlanders. How do you do? Are you in trouble, Captain Lungo? He's given us a PT exercise. He got stuck. I see. We soon fix that. Two, six. Aha. Oh, better. Good. Right. Let's get down to business. Fall the men in, Sergeant. Yes, yeah, sir. Fanning, will you please? Oh, now, fall in. Three rows, ranks. Now, men, men. Captain men, let's get back down to business. Scheme is if I Sergeant and nine men would attempt to capture your headquarters. Let's start from my headquarters to Mendham Farm, three miles away. Infiltrate for the town. And I say, attempt to capture headquarters here. But if you are not number them three to one, I suppose you will worry. No, don't suppose you're worried. So let me see, remind you, Captain Manry, my men are professional soldiers, 100% fit. You best, you best look out for yourselves. Now then, pay attention to this point. Every side will carry three colours of paint. Namely, red for dead, blue for wounded, white for prisoners. If a man is wounded and captured, he gets a dab of red, red blue paint, a dab of blue white paint. If it is blue, call for me. I will carry a ten of pink paint, a ten of yellow paint. You told him he's wounded, not dead. I'll give him one dash of pink paint. On the other hand, if you think he's dead, not wounded, he gets the two dabs of pink paint. Then one again, then again, of course, if he's not dead, not wounded, not prisoner, but he gets a dab of yellow paint and cancels out the whole thing. Understood? 
right now. Scheme will commence in 22 hours. Any questions? 10 o'clock. That's what I said. 22 hours. Until then, I'll be at my headquarters at her final farm. Meanwhile, Captain, I suggest you carry on with your PT, because judging by the looks of your men, they have very much need of it. They're all pretty fit, you know, sir. Really? You lad. What age are you? 17, sir. So a couple of years you'll be joining the army. No, oh no, sir. I want to join the navy. You're pretty looking for your age, a lad of your age. Right, sir. Well, so do. I'm fairly doing fit, sir. Are you now? Very well. Let's see how fit you are. Tense your stomach muscles, laddie. Going to see you a wee tap. And so perhaps is to test it. Right. What well, is that all right, sir? Excellent. Very good, Captain. You carry on. You stand up that well. You never ever think your stomach muscles are made of steel. Not me stomach muscles. Sir, but me rifle boat is. All right, get dressed, men. It's rather round. Go round. We're against this fallen opponent. It's just as we tackle this problem. Just one worry thing, me worry, sir. I feel a bit of a traitor. In what way? I'm behind the two. I feel like I'm fighting my own kin. Kirf and kin, as it were. Don't be sir, they're only acting like part of the enemy. We're British. When the home comes, whether you're wearing a kilt or trousers, they try to kill you. It's a dark night when you're wearing a kilt. You might get other ideas. Permission to speak, sir, Corporal. There's nothing to try and catch our headquarters, right? Right, it's right. Well, why don't we move our headquarters, sir? When they come here, we don't, won't be here. Why, uh, they don't know where our headquarters, whereabouts are, sir. I don't think that's quite the idea, Jones. Why don't we send somebody out into the family camp, find out where the plans, good idea. We could just freeze it up as Scotsman. I am a Scotsman. As in a farm, couldn't we disguise someone as a land girl? Volunteering? We could disguise ourselves as something. They wouldn't look out of place on a farm. Such so as what? Let, leave it to me, sir. Platoon! Platoon! Officer Quick, sir. Septine Fraser. And Walker, sir. Rowley. Involved in a bit of scheme, sir. They're coming in here now. Right, left, right, left, right. Halt! Halt! Good God, it won't work, Walker. Uh, what did you say, sir? It won't work. Take that stupid head off. You're very... Use your intelligent walker. Don't think anyone would pass for you for raw cow. No, you don't understand, sir. Our plans get mixed up with a flock of other cows. It won't, still won't work. Man falling inside the hall. Take the back to the cry room. Just, sir. Vicar will be absolutely furious. He just lives for that scout pantomime. Jack had been thought this year. Your reverence makes a good, makes dumb as name. Bit too lifelike for my money. What did he say? Same as usual. Didn't work. How can we, how can we find out if we don't try? That's a bit toughy. Tell me you what. We'll meet up tomorrow night. About half past five. Cheer up for now. Oh, keep in touch now, will you men? Pay attention. Now here's a rough plan of our position. The headquarters here. Now as you can see, the enemy can come down at us on all sides. Right, sir. I'm going to be a bit of a job, sir. Don't worry, it'll be all right. You're right, sir. It don't it doesn't work. What happened? We got near the farm, all right. Everything's going lovely. Then we went across the field. Somebody spotted you. Well, there's a bull in the field, sir. Terrible, a terrible experience, sir. Wasn't well, as bad as all that. You were in the front. All right, Walker. I'll leave that to explain to the vicar now. You grew in the, the, his girl skin. Where was I? We I have enough men to go around. We've got to go find somewhere to find, get to the, that farm. Let's keep the cool and think. Let's keep very cool and think. What examples can we draw from the great military campaigns of the past? For instance, what position would Napoleon have taken? Well, he used to say, and say something like this, sir. Finger corporal. How about the Trojan horse, sir? Trojan horse? Horse are not going to get back in the end of that one. We could get some sort of vehicle that wouldn't look out of place. There you are, sir. Well done, Wilson. How do we get it here so quickly? Come from Mr. Blank's, from Mr. Blank's farm. I know he banks with us. Remember, you used to be for an overdrive for your fuse. I told him you changed your mind. You have no business set to send my authority. Who are you trying to help? Might as well use it. You need someone to hide the IA. Permission to speak, sir, Corporal. I'd like to hide in the hay. I think we ought to have a younger man. Pike, you'll do. Wilson, you drove it here. You drove it in the farmland. One thing, he'll recognise you at once. No, he won't. 
excuse me, one moment, Pike, it, it, in you go, don't argue, get him. But Sarah, but Mum said, help him, get him well covered up. I can't do that, that's it, pearl it all over him. What's the matter? I'm trying to tell you, sir, I've got permission, a terrible hay fever, permission to speak, sir. Let me go in, all right. See, you're so keen, go on, wait a minute, just a minute. You can, uh, how are you going to breathe a piece of rubbish tubing? Put it rubbish tubing, sir. That's a good idea. Get a transfer tr- pump. Come on, help him, man. Oh, you go. That's it. Here we are, we are, sir. Thank you, Godfrey. Here you are, Jones. Put the other end of the tube in your mouth. All right, sir. That should do the trick. Come on. Where do you get that stuff? The same place as the cowskin, sir. I don't know what the vicars will say. If you tell him, don't say anything. All right, sir. Get your shake in your head. Just shake your head and say, ah, oh, I know what about, I know about that, sir. Go on. Try it. I suppose you have to. Jones, Jones, can you hear me? I want you to listen to everything that's said and remember it. Have you hear, can you hear that? Jones, Jones, can you hear? He's got no air. He's suffocated. Mr. Jones, get him out. Quickly. Get, he's, he's not there. Good heavens, where has he gone to? Where is it, Jones? Where have you been? Through the bottom of the cart, sir. Put the Put the plan on the back cart there. Now then, men, pay attention. This is the plan. The ceremony must commence at 22 hours. Should fight. Move out at 12, 21 hours. Let's go up the town and move away through the rude woods here. We cannot merge the woods this side. It might be spotted across the road. However, the bottom of the woods, the cliffs are leading the beach. We were descending by means of ropes and with green with us. We quickly... Move quickly on the beach of revenues under the pier. As then at 1921, two hours, we move smartly up the street and capture the enemy in queue. Understood? Now, as I said before, the scheme to commence at 22 hours, five minutes later, we shall have taken the enemy in HQ. There are three major points of this operation. Namely, the Belch here. Oh, the Perimeter here. Oh, least, alas, not least, the final object here. Why, I just hope this idea of yours work, is working. Going to work, sir. You worked in tires and film, I saw. Hmm. Do you want us? Tell you uh, up in a high hour later. Oh, fairs in love and war. Here you are, sir. Right. Have you got the paint, sir? Good, good, corporal. Look, the plan again. There are eight paths through the woods. All covered in men, by the man traps. The enemy runs along the path. <coughs> Puts his foot in the noose. Everyone pulls the rope. Up he goes first. Feet first. Have you seen this working work? Of course, in tiles of him. In tiles of what about, what about the paint, sir? Oh, yes, red for wounded. No, no, sir. Red for dead and blue for wounded. No, Mr. Henry. White is for wounded and red for yellow. Why do you give me a b- bit of each to make sure? Good idea, Pike. An initiative. I saw that in Lauren Hardy film. We saw, we saw it together, remember? There's an hour to go. We'd better take up positions. Welcome, Jones, over here. This way, Jones, your position. Sports of a guard in the best path. Yes, you follow me. You right, sir. Joe? Hello, Joe? Well, can you hear anything? No. You can I. What do you, do? What do you want about, you silly old duffer? You might be able to hear it if something I can't. Well, I can't. I hear that. Come on. Stand by. Make a bit, I'm going a bit quiet. Oh, help. That's one. Yep, two. Ah, three, four, six, five, six, oh, seven. We're next, stand by. Maybe look, took the wrong turning. Oh, I'm trying to listen. Good night's work, men. Oh, you didn't start, all start us off, sir? What happened? About, we got all the men taken, we got all our men taken prisoner quiet. Perhaps he didn't know where to the trap, he didn't know where the trap is. I knew where it was. He wouldn't come into it. Damn permission to speak, sir. I have an idea, sir. In the going woods, you call yourself. And they, they, they follow me then. And then they do, we fall, they fell into the trap. So, very good, Corporal. Thank you, sir. Sir, I, I want to tell you something. When those two bodies came crushing through the bushes, don't forget to let the first one go. Well, that would be me. Off you go, Corporal. Good luck. Thank you, sir. No doubt about it. That man's got guts. Fan foolishly, I thought, sir. Stand by for your new paint brushes. Be quiet. Stand by, they're coming. Don't forget, to let Jones go by. I lay over here, right man. Pull, get him down quickly. It's Jones, get him down. Jonesy, it's Jonesy. You made a bloomer, all right, Jones. I don't understand. 
Who is the first man? That was me. Yes, Captain. I must go to eat you. You knew you were smart us. You were supposed to stand back. It's war. I'm afraid it. It's red paint for all. You were, you were there. Give me that paint. You there. Give me paint, sir.